All right, so a couple things. Um, one thing I didn't show you yesterday was that um, the coupler worked just fine, but when I first hooked it up, it didn't, it didn't work quite right. <clears throat> and the reason for it is that the PC board that holds the, tick, the, the three connectors is on a ground plane, but that ground plane um, is only on that top board, which has a big square cutout in it. So the RF kind of has to go around, and there's no good RF path for it, and that created a problem. Um, and the other board is not helping the way it's constructed. So I had to put on a, a, a strap of uh, brass on the back uh, in, order to, uh, in order to get the RF path correct from one side to another, so I had to add that, uh, I had to add that. And uh, we saw yesterday that this works at about 850 megahertz, so um, I wanted to show you another thing today. My friend was over yesterday and he pointed something out to me. Um, he asked me a question and we both kind of shook our heads and we did the test and we were shocked at what happened. So <laughs> um, let me, let me hook this coupler back, or coupler, um, circulator back up. They call it a coupler? It's circulator. Um, so we'll hook it back up. And uh, I have, I'm zoomed in here from 700 to 1000 megahertz. So uh, this is the pass region where it's operating good. So if we put a, uh, put a load on the other port, we'll see the, uh, we'll see the area where it, uh, it's working. And if I turn it on a marker and go over there, it's right around 847 megahertz. So, so there's the dip, right? And so uh, the question he was asking, let me zoom out a bit for this particular discussion. Uh, the question he was asking was, I was showing him some magnets that I had. I said, um, he, was, he was commenting on some magnets that I scrounged out of a uh, hard disk drive, that everybody's done that. And I had some other magnets that were pretty powerful. And he kind of said, oh, what if you took one of those really powerful magnets and put it on the, uh, on the circulator, you know, what would it do? And so I wasn't quite sure. I didn't expect it to do much. Um, so the way that I believe that circulators work is that the geometry of the racetrack, that, 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 that Y-shaped thing, the size of that inner disk and, um, and things set up, set up this frequency of interest. So if we, if, we, if we add magnetism, then I expect maybe this dip to go farther down. We're adding more. So the way that thing works is that RF is coming in. Um, I, I, I have a... Uh, I think I linked it in my last video, uh, 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 studies of, of circulators, how they work. There's a magnetic field that gets set up, and as the, as the electromagnetic wave comes in, it sees the RF field, and kind of by right-hand rule, it, it takes one path and not the other path. So if you increase the magnetic field, you should be able to increase the direction, directionality of the, of the circulator, and this dip should go down further, right? So the, the bigger the magnet, uh, that dip, that dip should come down. So I brought in a magnet, and here uh, is that on? I think that's on camera. I brought in a magnet, and the dip is moving. The the the, the frequency response is moving, which, and but it's not going down. It's not getting better, and then it's creating some other things over here, which oops, which is kind of weird. Oh, geez, I just <laughs> that stuck on. I don't want to do that. Um, so. Yeah, so that's really weird. And then, if that's not weird enough, see, I think I've already add some, added some magnetism when I jam that on there. It's now, it's now no longer on that center frequency. It's over, it's over here somewhere. Oh, and I've got the magnet going with this. Anyway, so, uh, so yeah, so it's moving to the left, right? If I take my magnet and I flip it end to end, it now moves to the right. <laughs> so once again, yeah, the right hand rule. To, oh, this, yeah, I've, I fixed it. I've kind of demagnetized it by bringing, oh, look at that. I can kind of like permanently fix it to one side or like permanently fix it to the other side. Yeah, it remembers some of this magnetism. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, that's really weird. Uh, so I guess somebody was asking me, can you tune circulators? And I said, no, you can't tune them. Um, but yeah, maybe you can. 
<laughs> I don't know. Uh, so please comment if you understand what's going on here. And uh, I really don't know the math. Neither does my friend who, who, who has nice degrees as well. And uh, he didn't really understand the math either for, uh, for this phenomena. And uh, we can't explain it. So there you go. So one side, I don't know if it's north or south, but one side makes it go right and one side makes it go left. And uh, yeah, and if you, if you magnetize it more, it'll remember and it'll stay there. So be careful with magnets around your circulators.